Hi, I'm Stan Oley, the Playmate Ball Machines Product Marketing Specialist. I'm here today to teach you how to change the frequency on your Playmate Ball Machine remote control. You'd want to do this because after you've changed the battery, you're still not getting the distance you want from baseline to baseline. What this is going to do is help enhance the relationship between your radio transmitter and your receiver, taking it from like a six lane highway down to a two lane road. First, it's important to discuss the tools that we're going to need. I have a medium P2 Phillips screwdriver, a very small Phillips screwdriver, and I have a tie wrap that I've cut the end off of to create a nice sharp edge to change the dip switches on the remote control. First thing we're going to do is program the receiver. We're going to do that by undoing the screws here on the outside of the hopper where the receiver is. Undo these guys. And then I'm going to gently lay the receiver into the hopper. And I'm going to leave it connected here. And I don't want to disturb this plastic moisture barrier if you have that on there. It's very important to keep the moisture out of your receiver. Now, I want to locate what we call the learn button. You can see it's right here. And it says learn right there on the green board. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to hold that button down. And then I'm going to turn the machine on and wait for it to beep. And at that point, um, I see, should see a series of flashes. So I'm going to go ahead and hold that button down. I'm going to turn the ball machine on. I hear it beep, I let go, and you can see it's flashing, pulsing one time. I need to get it to five flashes. So I've got two, I've got three, I have four, and now I have five. Once I get to five, I go ahead and turn the ball machine off. And just for time's sake, I'm just gonna put one screw back in here. Like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and program our remote control. And it's important first here to learn some of these buttons. I have the big button. Um, I have a reset button down here just to the right of the battery. And I have four dip switches right here. And I also have a chip here that says 145. We're gonna be moving some dip switches just to start out our programming. If yours says 140 or 144 here, you can skip this step. Also, if you have a 145 and any of these dip switches are moved from the right to the left, you can skip this step as well. But if you have a 145 and all your dip switches are to the right, you have to move one of these dip switches. I'm gonna go ahead and move the top one to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the reset button. At this point, it's gonna go through a little homing sequence of flashes. Once that stops, I'm gonna hold this big button down the light's gonna start flashing. I'm not gonna let go of the big button here. And I'm gonna just touch the reset while still holding the big button down. Now I get a very fast flash. So I let go of the big button. Now I'm gonna hold the big button down again for about seven or eight seconds. And you're gonna get the same pulsing sequence we had on the receiver, that one flash. So I wanna go ahead and I wanna get the five flashes here. So I touch the big button again, there's two flashes. Touch it again, there's three flashes. Touch it again, there's four flashes. And touch it again, now I'm at five flashes. Now, I wanna take my tie wrap and move this back to the right. And I'm gonna to touch the reset button. And now the remote's programmed. Now it's important to put it back in safely into its case. I slide the antenna into the case, gently lay it in there. And then you'll see the, the case actually has a cutout for the, the, for the antenna. I snap that into place, and then I can go ahead and insert my screws. And now we're ready to test. So I wanna go ahead and turn the ball machine on. As you see, my frequency has changed and I'm all set. If you have any problems or questions doing this procedure, um, please contact your authorized service center. If you want to know how to do that, please contact Playmate at 1-800-776-6770. We'll see you on the courts.